Sir Joshua Guevara, our NSTP coordinator. Maria Frances Eleanor P. Kalaobanan, uh, Campus Public Information Officer. And of course, uh, Ms. Jovelin D. Ocampo, I am the MIS uh, coordinator and also the CVSU LMS Baco or City Campus coordinator. We have Mr. Paulo M. Rodriguez as our Department Extension Services Coordinator. Ms. Alvina Iramaliosa, our Department Secretary. Alvin B. Catalo, si Sir Alvin po ang ating Research uh, Department Research Coordinator. We have Sir Michael Jordan B. Garcia, our lecturer na po. We have Sir Manrique Arnel C. Aranyes, Tunay L. Mitra, si Ma'am Sophia, Sir Joven S. Rios, Sir Nino M. Rodil, and that's all. So yung mga part times of course ay hindi na rin po natin isinama with the discussion since ito pong mga uh, pinakita ko sa inyo, sila po ay yung mga medyo tumatagal na with our department and with our campus. And hopefully, some of them I mamit nyo na rin. And uh, if you have concerns, again, pwede nyo lapitan yung mga pinakita ko po na uh, tao according po to your concerns, ha? Okay, next we have the general academic rules and regulations. The academic policies, of course, we have the students. May tinatawag tayo na full-time students, part-time students, transfer students, and of course, we have student assistants. So students, we can consider them, them as students if they are enrolled in or who are regularly attending graduate degree, non-degree, high school, or any other level program of the University. So we have different types of students. We have the full time student, part time student, transfer student, student assistant. We also have the foreign student and curricular classification. So we can consider it as full time student if he is registered for formal academic credit units and who carries a full load for a given semester under the curriculum in which he is enrolled, including graduating students who may carry less than the full load. So with a full-time student, again, formal academic credit units. So part-time student registered with formal credits, but less than the full load. We have transfer student, which comes from another college or university. Student assistant, they are the student who is employed on a full-time basis at the university, rendering a service. So with student assistant, uh, ito po kasi ay may katumbas na scholarship. Yun, uh, yung service po nila, yung nagiging kapalit ng kanila pong pag-aaral. So we have the foreign student. Foreign student, they are the student who is not a citizen of the Philippines. So, um, sa foreign student, sa atin naman pong campus ay wala po tayong foreign student. So normally yung foreign student po natin ay nasa main campus. We also have the curricular classification. So we have the freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior. 
for the scholarships, merong tinatawag na entrance scholarships. Since this is entrance scholarship, ito po ay uh, pwede natin makuha for one semester only upon the admission to university. We also have the university or what we call the full scholarship. So, ito po ay uh, kailangan na magkakuha ka ng GPA of 1.50 or better. We have the college or partial scholarship, which is ang kailangan naman po na para matawag ka or magkaroon ka ng type of scholarship na ganito ay makapag karoon ka ng GPA na 1.75 or mas mataas pa. I think the university or full scholarship, it is not just 1.5 or 1.50 na GPA but 1.45. So, ang role po dito sa ating full scholarship and partial scholarship, aside from the GPA, ay kailangan po wala tayong INC, wala tayong 4.53 or wala rin pong 2.75. So the lowest grade po na pwede kang magkaroon kapag uh, para makapasok with a partial scholarship ay 2.5 and para naman sa full scholarship ang pinaka lowest grade po niyan ay nasa 2.25. So, we have the suspension of classes. So, sino lang ba yung may authority to suspend the class? Of course, we have the university president. And uh, again, regarding with this mga walang pasok, agad naman po itong nasusunod once po na nag-announce na ang ating mga government officials. So, bakit nga ba nagkakaroon ng suspension of classes? Um, of course, first is we have unexpected calamities and forces of nature such as the typhoons, earthquakes, tsunamis, and such. So, student conduct, we have the class attendance. So, kapag po kasi face-to-face uh, -face or yung regular talaga po na klase, dapat po ay... Uh, kapag lumampas ka na ng 20% na absent of the total number of days na may pasok, pwede ka na pong i-considered as drop. At kapag ang performance po talaga ay mababa, saka po tayo magbibigay ng grade na 5%. So, the display of ID, it is very important po kapag tayo ay pumapasok ng ating campus. So, if may ID na po kayo, once na magkaroon po ng face-to-face, -face, you always need to wear your ID. You shall wear your ID. And, of course, those identification cards shall be required of every student. This card will be worn by the students upon the entry. Hindi rin naman po kayo papapasukan ng ating uh, campus guard kapag po tayo ay hindi naka-ID. So we have the dress code. Sa dress code, all bona fide students of the university are required to wear prescribed school uniform during, during school days. But meron po tayong tinatawag na wash day. And this is every Wednesday of the week. So kapag Wednesday po, you are allowed to wear any, ano ba? Not just any. Kasi kailangan pa rin, of course, bawal pa rin mag-spaghetti strap. But this is casual wear, yung wash day. Bawal pa rin po ang mga sando, spaghetti straps and such. T-shirt, polo shirt. Uh, polo, yun po ay pinapayagan. Regarding sa pambaba naman po, allowed po ang mga maong pants or any pants po, wag lang po yung rip and yung mga jogger. So, uh, pa ba? 
also, always wear close shoes. Kailangan po na laging close shoes. Bawal po ang naka-sandals. Bawal po ang naka-chinyelas. Regarding naman po with your PE uniform, sinusuot lang po iyon sa oras lang po mismo ng PE. So, meron po tayong mga instructor na kailangan kapag tapos na yung PE class mo, hindi ka na niya iaalaw o hindi ka pwedeng pumasok sa kanya ng naka-PE uniform. So, kailangan mo pong palit ng ating uh, prescribed school uniform. And I think ngayon po ay uh, inaalaw na ang pagsasuot or pagkocross-dress since nagkaroon na ng memo. But then again, please observe wearing your ID. Complete uniform and we have the uh, black shoes sa baba. So, dun po sa mga lalaki, ang ina-advise din po dito sa uh, pagsasuot ng black shoes, yung medyas din daw po ay kailangan or mas maganda na, na naka-black din po kayong socks. And so for your activity, ang gagawin niyo po is CVSU logo. I will allow you to, ano po, to make a logo as a group. So, three members lang. Okay na siguro yun. Three members per group. So, your activity one is CVSU logo. So, we have to recreate the Cavita State University logo using your prepared colors, fonts, and of course, the elements. And you have to discuss how to make each element of your design logo more meaningful and appropriate for use by Cavita State University. So we have here the rubrics for grading. Logo is 25 points. We have the skills as 25 points, the originality 25 points, and the overall design with 25 points. Again, three members long per group. You can work it on today. And... Um, may vacant kayo ngayong araw? Baka tuloy nag-open mic. May vacant po kayo ngayong araw? Walang sumagot. Ba po kasi pag sumagot kami, ipa-deadline mo rin po ngayon. Okay. Okay, since this is a group activity naman, I will give you at least uh, two days to think of your logo. Saan gagawin yung logo? Um, regarding with the logo, kayo pong bahala if, um, if gusto nyo siya na gawin sa mga painting programs natin, painting and drawing programs na meron tayo, or application, pwede kayong gumamit ng Adobe Photoshop kung marunong. Pwede rin naman na MS Paint. Or, uh, I will also allow you na i-drawing po ito through the use of the pen and paper. Wala naman pong problema. So, kailangan ko lang, of course, nung picture na malinaw naman po. Ha, nakita po yung every details of that. Clear po tayo. Again, pwedeng drawing nyo lang, tapos kulayan nyo lang. And pwede rin naman po na gumamit tayo ng ating uh, different applications for editing and uh, creating images. So, kayo na pong bahala with that. So, pwede rin yung mga application na pwede lang sa cellphone ah, uh, at pwede din sa mga laptop, desktop, anything. Basta po, ang goal po natin for this activity is to recreate the Cavita State University logo. So, ang kulang na lang po natin sa discussion 
na magiging coverage of your midterm exam is the uh, discussion of goals and then the objectives plus the curriculum checklist. Upload ko na lang po yung uh, activity sheet sa atin pong Google Classroom, ha? So, um, yun na muna for today and we'll see you again na lang po by the next meeting. Uh, regarding po pala sa activity, i-discuss e nyo po iyon by next meeting. Ipepresent nyo po iyon sa akin. Yes po, my question. Yes po. My question pa po. Okay, so I think we are clear on that. And again, uh, pwede na po tayong mag-live and we'll see you na lang po by the next meeting. Pa-prepare po ako nung image ha kasi didiscuss nyo yun sa susunod. Bye po. Bye-bye po. Thank you po. Thank you po. Thank you po. Thank you po. bag of milk tape to it. He looked at the security footage and saw that a police officer put it there. I'll be in the 303 references call still, guys. The police department released a statement saying that the officer was simply returning the bag of milk to who they believed was the owner. I guess men are very simple creatures because these guys were entertained by a squeaky plant. This cat was really upset that they woke up from their nap. What happened? <laughs> Did you wake yourself up? No, you are so very grumpy. <laughs> Dude, Isaac, you gotta come look at this man. <coughs> One of my subscribers sent me a video of their old dog that shakes like this whenever they leave the house. We're only gonna be gone for 15 minutes. <laughs> I found a really cool website that can help you replace the word very with a more eloquent word. I found someone that can make some incredible art using string.
That is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Set up my magic. Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Voss, and this is a breakdown of House of the Dragon episode 10, the season finale, The Black Queen. And this video is brought to you by Pluto TV, the free streaming platform offering free movies and shows that are 100% free 100% of the time. This finale is exactly why I don't bring my bitey rescue dog to the dog park. Damn it, darling, now we gotta run before Karen Gulch throws you in her bike basket. Let us break down this episode. Is Mororia a sanctuary or a tomb that draws us into eternal rest? I do not miss the steel and neon. Check 
With seven times more densely packed bristles, Colgate Cushion Clean. I choose only BioFlu. Ang isa kaya ang lahat. Babangon ka sa BioFlu. One, two, seven, Go, go. 
Na sobrang convenient and swak sa budget, magluluto tayo ng 3 dishes. Kaya, let's start cooking! sa tibay ng anak ko, ang Beer Brand Swak inaaraw-araw ko. Ay, mamang dip-dip, kaya jain na dip-dip, shake it up to them, mamang sarang, mamang da 
같이 어떠한 이유로 내 맘을 깜깜깜깜 못 들었지 그게 싫다는 게 아니고 혹시 네가 너무 피곤할까봐 걱정돼서 그렇지 내 맘이 그래 나는 너무 일로 하고 너는 마치 지도 위험한 소모 예 너는 옆에 내가 느껴봤던 쓸쓸함의 오전 네 생각에 잘못 자다가 보면 오전 일어나는 없잖아 너는 바로 네가 난 생각나 너는 내게 유일한 없잖아 난 어쩌나 어쩌나 그대로 없잖아 그 때문에 난 이제 없잖아 대국히 매일 내가 성격이 덜렁대고 좀 몰랐어 그치만 널 위해선 절대로 안 몰랐어 같이 부르지 않은 건 노래 하나씩 예쁘네 나 느낌이 사이가 좋네 한내 둘의 스케치 위에 맨날 go 암튼 난 네가 그냥 좋아 아까부터 아침을 계속해서 미안해 그치만 이게 